In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your Xerox Altalink product. Now, normally, if you're working with us, uh, we're going to provide you with the software upgrade files to drop onto the machine. If not, you can always pull them from Xerox.com. So what you'll want to do is pull up your model name and type in Xerox model name software. And then it should be the first link that comes up on Google. Once you're on the software page, um, you'll want to change the category to firmware. So then it's going to only show you uh, firmware underneath on the page. I would highly recommend reaching out to us at Premier Office Systems uh, for the latest uh, upgrade files. Um, as you can see um, on the Xerox website here, it does not have the latest firmware. Um, this is actually very old level, so uh, reach out to us um, if you're our customer and we can provide you with uh, the latest firmware update uh, for your machine. When you have your files downloaded, you're going to need to get the IP address of your device and type it into your browser. And then it should pull up the uh, Xerox web page of your device. Then you're going to need to go into properties. Now, if you're not already logged in, the uh, default password is 1111 and the username is admin. If that doesn't work, you can also try the serial number of your machine. Once you're into properties, you're going to need to go to Fleet Orchestrator, which is uh, pulled up by default, and then go to Create Install a File, and then select Install a File. Then once you're into Install a File, you're going to want to select Software Upgrade, then you'll need to choose the file um, that you downloaded prior or uh, we provided to you. Now, I also want to recommend that you check that where it says installation policy, that it says allowed. If not, you'll want to click allowed or not allowed and enable it, as you can see what I'm doing here. Now that I'm back in Fleet Orchestrator, I'm ready to uh, choose the file and uh, download it. Now, depending on your model, now this is an Altalink. So on the Altalinks, you have to do uh, two installation files. The first one is a patch and the second one is a software upgrade. The patch will take about five to 10 minutes to download. So your machine, uh, once you hit choose file and hit install um, on the patch, as you'll see, it will do in a few minutes, um, it will shut down uh, for about 10 minutes and then come back up. And once it's back up, we're going to put the uh, software uh, installation file, which takes about 30 minutes uh, to fully download. So you can see at the top of my files here, the patch is the shorter number one. So I'm going to select that and then hit install. Then the uh, machine will say it accepted the file and it will shut down for about 10 minutes and come back up. Once the patch is uh, fully done uh, installing onto the machine um, and it came back up, Go back into the IP address and go to Fleet Orchestrator. Same process we did before, but this time we're going to select the longer name file, the software upgrade file. So you're going to choose a file and hit install. Then it will be down for about 30 minutes. And once it's back up, your software upgrade should be complete. If it uh, succeeds, it will print out a success sheet on your machine. Um, if it fails, it will print a fail sheet as well.